D-Lo, ay, yeah, clutch. I'm in the clutch, we in the clutch, it's even been clutch. You think that we suck, your dreams are the luck, your ship is just sunk, we turn off a way. Ooh, yeah, see that my face is up in disgust because people talking a mess, but there's nothing to discuss. I'm just being honest, I'm keeping it a bug. Uh huh. We in the clutch! What's going down, clutch squat? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Dub, it's Soul your... Man Dub. It's your boy Spaceman Ross. You feel me? <laughs> Coming back with another video for you, <laughs> Jive Turkeys and Suckers out there, you know what I'm saying? And future astronauts out there and scientists of the world. Keep it funky, baby. We got Four Bone Chilling, True Halloween Stories coming at you live right now, man. Ooh, I hope you guys are enjoying y'all Halloween, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and uh, yeah, we about to get straight into this, mug. All right, man, let's see what these bone chilling stories are about. And can they be proven by science? Can they? <laughs> Are they going to keep it groovy? Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, shit. Halloween. Ooh. Happy Halloween to y'all. Story yeah, number heartbeat. one. Yeah. You hear my heartbeat? Hmm. My group of friends and I went to a Better local prank. county haunted house attraction. All right. It was by the edge of town. It opened every October of every year. Creepy narrator it voice. sat right by the woods appropriately. But not annoying. Three attractions. No. The main haunted house, a corn maze, and a haunted trail through the woods. Mm. I guess I'll name my friends now. Rod, James, and Bud. That's Hi, not Bud. his real name. That's just his nickname. Rod, James, and Bud. Got we you. started with the haunted house, mm -hmm. which was decently high quality and had a few good scares. <clears throat> okay. Then we made our way to the corn maze. It started out kind of slow. Just a lot of turns through the corn we'd have to make. But then the scary antics began. A guy dressed as a freaky scarecrow man emerged from the corn and screamed at us, causing us to scream as well. <sighs> he started to chase after us, and we ran. Yeah, I was in the back, of course, and the scarecrow was right behind me. He wouldn't have been Even knowing it's just a paid actor, you have this innate fear of something chasing after you, where you just feel like you have to run away. Pause yeah, man. Of course. So this is why if I ever go to one of these type of events, I'm wearing shoes that I know I'm ready to crease up yeah. for maximum speed mm -hmm. thrust. Because <laughs> I'm telling you now. Get the right Nikes on, man. That actor going to be sweating. He yeah. better be a, uh, his real job better be a fitness trainer. Yeah. Because I'm gone. You got to catch me. He going to have to catch. He he may end up getting his ACL, MCL, all that tore up. Cause I'm going to say MCL. Who? Oh, you, you, get the, you, get the, you get the Missy Elliott ring. Oh yeah, I'm I'm, I'm with it. It's um, the foil. I'm, it's, I'm with it, bro. I'm just oh, which way am I going? Gone. And, 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 like I'm be running football routes. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm be running rain. slants, all types of shit, oh, bro. Yeah, bro, we going instead of stepping up, uh, uh. but juking and all that, man. <laughs> I'm thinking, bro, I don't get paid enough for this. All right, you got to you got to put yourself in fantasy. Fact. <laughs> <laughs> I forget all the points. Right. But uh, nah, yeah, that's, that's man, hey, it's, it's, it's always one of them stories that start off like that, too. <laughs> Somehow, through the thrill of running away through the corn, I lost all of my friends. Through the uh, corn. It seemed like all of us ran in different directions. Oh, no. I can't do them more. I lost man. the scarecrow man, though, and got back to the trail between the crops. Mm -hmm. This is where the nightmare began. I called and yelled and screamed for my friends as I made wrong turn after wrong turn. Yo, they never called back. Yo. It seemed there were no other visitors in sight. I had to finish the maze by myself. The hell you run what over choice there did for? I have? You I had walked to and walked for what felt like 20 minutes, mm -hmm. and I heard bustling in the corn in front of me. I hey. slowed my pace and kind of yep. tiptoed past the noise, hey. but it was pointless. Uh -uh. Something reached out from the corn and grabbed my wrist and squeezed it tight. Punch. I actually cried out in pain and yelled, Stop, you're hurting me. I was actually in shock how hard this paid actor was squeezing my wrist. I was socked as ass. And he tried pulling me into the crops. I didn't see who it was. I just saw his hand and arm, covered by a black coat sleeve and black gloves. Socked his ass. I yanked myself out from the grip and backed away as the actor came out from the crops into the path. He was wearing a heavy winter coat, black jeans, and a blank black face mask. Mm -mm. I didn't know what the costume was supposed to be. But I literally yelled, go fuck yourself, you actually hurt me. <laughs> he started running at me. Oh. And naturally, I turned and ran as fast as I could through the oh, corn to lose him. A standoff. I yelled back, I'm reporting you. And I quickly lost him. Reporting you. After five minutes of running straight through the corn as opposed to following the maze of trails, I came to the edge of the maze and went to find an employee. I reported the actor to the employee. 
saying he used way too much force to the point that my wrist actually hurt. The employee said he wasn't sure who was wearing the specific costume I described, but that he'd look into it. I thanked him, and then I looked at my phone. I had a missed call from James. I called him back to ask where the three of them were. He said they tried finding me, then they gave up and went to the haunted trail in the woods. I said I'd meet them and hung up. I walked over to the start of the trail, where they had the Halloween ambiance blasting through a bunch of speakers placed throughout. Mm. I stepped into the woods, feeling like I was the only one around besides uh, my friends. I tried playing mm -hmm. catch-up to my friends, when I stopped mm -hmm. in my tracks after spotting him again, mm -hmm. blocking the path. Hey, yo! It was the guy in the coat and black mask. I told you! He didn't even give me time to react or say something. Right away, he started legit charging full speed at me. That's what I turned right and ran into the woods, <laughs> expecting to lose him easier. This time I called back, I'm calling the police. I wasn't actually, but I thought that might get this guy to just leave me alone. I ran deeper into the woods, until I didn't hear him chasing me deeper anymore. Into the woods. Then good, I sat bro. down on the root of a tree to catch my breath. Gotcha. I had time to think, and one of my thoughts was, did that guy really follow me from the corn maze to here? Then, I heard footsteps approaching. And of course, mm -hmm. at that exact moment, my iPhone started ringing. I silenced my phone, mm -hmm. but now the footsteps had stopped. I pushed myself up off the route quietly and leaned to the side to get a view past the tree. <laughs> it looked clear. I started to run back towards the path of the attraction and immediately spotted him to my right. Ooh. I said to myself, fuck it. I stopped and told hey, him I'm suing the place because you go. of him. But he didn't stop running at me. Oh, no. He got to me and pushed me to the floor. I didn't expect it. I was once again in shock. I got back up as fast as I could before he could get on top of me and booked it. He chased me, but when I got back to the path towards the entrance of the attraction, he stopped and turned around. I went straight to the little front office shack and asked for a manager. Hey, man. Some older guy greeted me. And I told him about the guy who was chasing me and attacking me. Gotta go to the truck real quick. Man said they didn't have any actors wearing that specific attire. Go to the truck. Uh, so he called no the police. And eventually I got my friends to meet me where I was. I stayed to describe the happening to the police when they showed up. Mm -hmm. I didn't have any marks to show them, but they still took a report and the place was closed for the night. We all went home after that. I haven't been to any haunted attractions ever since. I bet you haven't. Uh, I, I bet you haven't, bro. Dude didn't even work there. <laughs> Nigga was being an asshole, mm -hmm. man. <laughs> Dude, that's the wrong person. Get your ass clapped fast. <laughs> the year I turned 13, my friend invited me and two chitty, other chitty, friends bang, to stay bang. at his house on Halloween night. He had a fairly large house outside of our town, and it was the perfect place to go trick-or-treating. Mm -hmm. We decided it would be cool to go now to get sweets for a movie. So, fast forward, we were near the end of our trick-or-treating, and at one house, a woman answered the door. She was tall and skinny with shoulder-length hair. Mm. Her house was disgusting. We could smell the odor of cigarettes from inside. Ugh. She was quick to tell us that there were no more sweets left. However, she could go try to find something for us. I'm good. So After a couple sunny. minutes of waiting, yeah, she comes well. back with an old brown paper bag with old-looking candy inside. I'm good. We kindly deny the bag and tell her we're getting picked up, so we better go. Mm -hmm. She grabs one of my friends and says, no, please. But my friend pulls away from her, and then she quickly shuts the door. Good job. We knocked on a few more houses before mm -hmm. hearing something going on near the parking lot of the housing complex. Someone exclaims, they took my child, they took her, they took her. It was her, that Whoa. woman. And that was my friend's parents' car that she was banging on. She was throwing herself at the car and hitting it with her fists. A couple of neighbors came out due to the commotion. They seemed to know who she was. They apologized to us and said it was a big misunderstanding. We quickly got into the car and my friend's mom started driving us out. But we don't get far before the woman jumps in front of the car, claiming one of us was her child. The neighbors once again pulled her away. It was later that night, however, when things truly began. We stayed up late like any teenagers do at sleepovers. Of course. And we watched some scary movies. Be up all night. Out of nowhere, mm -hmm. the light turned on in the hall. We could see it under the closed door of the bedroom. We assumed it was my friend's parents who were about to come in to tell us to get some sleep. However, no one came in. 
I decided to have a peep out the door. Nothing at all. My friends joined me to see why the lights suddenly turned on. Out of nowhere, my friend says, it's her. And through a large window facing oh. the backyard, we see that woman standing there, looking in. However, the second she saw us stare at her, she ran away. Mm -hmm. Disturbed by this, we came back inside the bedroom and locked the door. Are we were obviously right? quite shaken up by this. Who is she? What does she want? We sat Kitchen. around for an hour, nervous, on high alert. <laughs> However, we eventually house. did somehow manage to fall asleep. That morning, my friend's mom told us the situation at the housing complex shook her up so much that she thought she had seen that woman standing over her bed in the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. My friends and I never even told her we saw that woman at the house that night. Why not? Which led us to wonder, what if, just maybe what if, that woman actually was inside the house that night? Who cut the light on? <clears throat> okay. Y'all gonna Eagle learn to stop holding shit in. Eagle fights. Call some beats. <laughs> Last year, Halloween was on a Wednesday. And because of that, I was home alone. My dad works nights, <clears throat> and my mom <throat> was staying with her sister because our parents weren't getting along at the time. <clears throat> my sister was away at college, so it was just me, left to provide for the trick-or-treaters. Mm. My dad bought a couple bags of Kit Kats and told me he expected them empty by the end of the night. <laughs> I don't know why, but my dad takes Halloween seriously. I, I didn't get home from classes until around 6, so it was already dark and the kids were out in droves. Mm. The second I dropped my bag on the couch, the bell rang, <laughs> and that went on for some hours. Mm -hmm. I was getting homework done later on in the night when the trick-or-treaters had mostly gone home. It was some time past 9, though. I remember that much, and the doorbell rang once more. It was the first time in over half an hour. Mm. I went to open the door with a near-empty bowl of Kit Kats, expecting some kids, but instead it was just this lone guy, maybe 35 years old. He waved at me with a neutral expression on his face. I didn't open the storm door. I Click. kind of just watched him, ready to shut the door on him. He stopped waving, then reached for the handle to the storm door and pulled it open. At that moment, I slammed the door shut in his face and locked it. I texted Bro, my family group chat that some old guy just tried opening the door. My dad joked that if he does it again, go outside and teach him a lesson. Yeah. I decided that was it with opening the door for the night. Mm -hmm. I went back up to my room to finish my homework. Soon, I heard yelling coming from outside. I lost my patience and eventually got up to see what was going on. I slid open my window and looked down. There was that man again down below, looking up at my window, shouting at me. He was mainly yelling that he needed help finding his son. I didn't Call the cops. Him for a right. second. I texted my family again. My dad just said, ignore it, he'll go away. Mm -mm. I left my room and shut off the light so that he'd go away. Then I went to the basement, which had no windows. Hmm. Oh, no. I hung out down there to do my work, and all was quiet for a while. Then, flick, the power went out. My initial thought, yep. that man outside tinkered with the electric box outside of the house. I stayed in contact with my family the whole time. After a few minutes, I heard the floorboards creaking above my head. Someone, as if I couldn't guess who, was inside the house. My mom, dad, and sister all texted me to call the cops. I stayed put in the basement, as it was the safest place at this point. The cops were en route. All I had to do was wait. Mm. The basement door then opened, and we stepped down the stairs, only halfway though. Even without power, a little bit of light from the upstairs poured into the basement, enough for me to see his legs. He was standing on the middle step of the staircase, and I swear he just stood there for like two minutes. Mm -hmm. I heard him mumbling stuff. I won't even pretend I could understand any of it. After the longest, most painfully uncomfortable moment of my life, the man said into the basement, I can see you. Hey, we're gonna have to oh, run it! <laughs> right there. Fuck it! You can see me, I can see you! We gonna have to run it! That's it, bro. That's Let's it. run it! That's it. That's we literally going at it. Oh, like fuck I'm it, grabbing bro. everything I can, my pens and pencils, whatever I'm doing, uh, using to do my work. And we going to town. Oh, that nigga like, said I can see you. 
back. All right, back. We can Let's run it. it. Let's get this party started then. <laughs> Let's get this party started, bro. I'm meet, you gonna meet your son. Oh yeah, you, you are. Gonna, you gonna meet your son Wherever real he at. soon. Oh hell no. Nah. The moon and the stars. You about to yeah. join them? Hell no. Nah. Time. His legs were actually facing me. Was he actually looking at me that whole time? Don't matter. Still, I didn't move, nor did he. He continued to stand there until there was a bang at the front door. Then he walked up the stairs, shut the door, and I heard creaking above again. I waited 20 seconds before running upstairs to the front door. By that time, it seemed the man had left my house because the cops couldn't find him, even with my help. Stupidly, I left the back door unlocked, so he simply let himself in. Yep. Mm -hmm. As for the power, he messed with the electric box outside, as I predicted. I don't know camera. if he did this on Halloween intentionally, or if it was just a coincidence, but something was wrong with that man. He didn't belong out in the streets. Ain't no intentionally. She like, gave him the even beats. For, you don't play like that on Halloween, you know what I'm saying? Because Once again, we tell you guys, lock all your doors, oh, windows, double check, triple check before you about to do anything in the crib. Mm -hmm. If you get home, you know what I'm saying? Or even if you're about to go to bed, whatever the situation is, mm -hmm. lock your doors, lock your windows, make sure everything is covered. So that way it's harder for someone to just accidentally get into just your shit. Get in there. Yeah, that's the only reason. Once he said he was in there, I was like, oh, he probably, one of the windows may have been mm -hmm. open. He forgot to lock the back he door, man. walked around to the back. Just yep. To so, yeah. Oh, hell no. That boy said, I can't see you. Shit, run it, nigga. I see like, you, too. Like, what? What we doing? What, what we, we seeing? What we, what we doing right now? What we doing Halloween with this site? Night. I don't know what year it was, but it was probably like four years ago. Halloween it was a night. Saturday. Mm -hmm. I'll keep this short and to the point. All right. My friend Tanner and I were set on doing something scary that night. Tanner? And that ended up being a visit to the abandoned house way up the road from our campus. Oh, shit. It was at the top of the hill, and some Makes students sense. referred to it as the Blair Witch House, oh. simply because it sat all by itself on an enclosed property, I'm mm. good. and it had been abandoned for years. I'm good. It's two and Tanner so decided. Come ten o'clock. Yep. Tanner drove us all the way up the Tanner. road and parked his car in the dirt outside of the property. We walked up the hill to the house, and even just seeing the unlit house standing in the dark gave me goosebumps. Mm -hmm. We both came with backpacks full of tools, like flashlights, knives just in case, and he even brought a crowbar. I mean, at least Surprisingly, I got some. he didn't need it, though, because Wait. the front door was already cracked open. Oh, this is where shit. the flashlights came in, Come because, in, of course, the inside was as dark as it gets. Come on in. The house seemed to be scrapped for just about everything, because nothing was left except junk. Mm. Nothing very exciting. Then there was a thump from upstairs. Yep. Tanner and I looked at each other, and we agreed to go upstairs and check it out. Man. Guess what race it is? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know any black tanners. <laughs> no disrespect, but it's true. No disrespect at Man, all. I wouldn't, we wouldn't have been there. <laughs> we probably would have been at some Halloween party. Yeah, drunk, chilling. Having a good time. <laughs> Not finna go. Hey, let's go. Hey, Ross, let's go check out that abandoned house down there that's just been vacant for years. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> We see it all the time. Exactly. Ain't nothing special. Exactly. <laughs> he led the way up the stairs, which were extremely rickety. We got mm. to the top, and there was a small hall with three doors. Mm -mm. We passed the first room, which was a tiny bedroom with an old collapsed bed frame still in there. There was a second door on the left. This one led to an empty bathroom. Mm. There was one more door, this one on the right of the hall. We stepped inside. This bedroom was definitely the master bedroom. There was a bed frame sitting in the center of the room still. There was once carpet on this wood floor, which had apparently been ripped away over the years. Mm. We stepped fully inside the room, looking for what could have made the thumping sound. And then, bang. The door to the room slammed shut, and there was suddenly a white flash that filled the room. Then another. It seemed like camera flashes. Tanner screamed and opened the door back up to flee what? the room. What? I did the same. Neither of us looked for whoever was in there with us. In the moment, we were way too scared. We ran back to the car, and Tanner drove us back to campus. A week later, Tanner sent me a picture through text. He was holding a photograph in the picture. It was of the two of us in that bedroom of the house. What? He said they were left under his windshield wiper in the parking lot of our dorm building. I told him throw them away and park somewhere else from now on. 
We only told a few close friends about this, and we never went near that house again. <laughs> Wait, they waited for somebody to come. Damn, I'm good on it, man. They knew who they was. Damn, bro. I'm good on it, bro. Oh, and bro. Ah! Come and outside. He slid a picture of him. See that shit on your car. Hey! A week later, yeah. Hey! Hey, who did? Who's that? Who did this? Hey, man. I'm Quit not, playing. Hey, this all would have been avoided if they didn't go. Stay your ass at home, man. Or go do something. <laughs> do something else that don't, don't involve you going don't into trespass. abandoned buildings, man. <laughs> but said he heard a thump, and I went to the thump. Nah, I would have went home, bro. Wouldn't have been there <laughs> at, at, at all. Uh, yeah, man. But nah, this was some definitely some spooky stories. Boom, so hopefully chilling. you guys are enjoying this hopefully right now, are. man. Hope you watch this with the lights off mm -hmm. and you know you got the the volume up to enhance this creepiness. We'll say, oh dude, that said I can see you. He would have to see me. That's it. <laughs> That's oh, you see these hands though, right? He would you have see to these hands see too. These hands. Mm -hmm. We would have found <laughs> found who he's looking for. Facts. He would have found them. Very no lie, quickly, but it, hey, hey, for, for sure. But now, nah, if y'all enjoyed it, you already know what to do. Make sure you hit the likes. Uh, keep on subscribing, showing love, up. being love, keeping God first. Never forget, we in the clutch, baby. Happy if you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside they know they can't handle half of me